Yeah. It says, uh, that's a stolen car. They crashed it and they just covered it up right there and left it. <laughs> nah. But there, there's a brick at the front of the, on the tarp. I should probably call him because no one's answering the door. Did you ring this bell? No. It's got arrows, two of them actually. I know, but there's like three bells. Which one do we ring? You can ring my bell. <laughs> ring my bell. Hello? Hi, this is the pipe doctor. We're at your front door. Okay, I'll be right down. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. We're here for the heat. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sure. Thank you. We'll lock it. Oh, it locks anyway. You have no heat? I don't have heat, but the tenant is not Do they have their own boiler? No. You have the boiler? Yeah, okay. we, have, we are burning up. So lead top. the way. You and sure? You, yeah, and she is. Okay. But she's not my so she has to do it with So she has her own thermostat? Yes. Okay, let's just, just check the thermostat if we can. Oh, sh oh my God. I only knock like that because, you know, because Junior, can we come? Yeah. Okay. I just want to see the thermostat. Okay, so. Where is the thermostat? Uh, here. Yeah. Thermostat is set to off. Let's turn it up to 90. Let's make sure that's on heat and that's on on. Okay. If it only had some. Okay, up to the boiler we go. When did your tenant complain about uh, no heat? Well, apparently she has problem every winter. Oh, it's probably every year. Ah. Yeah. We're going to put it on the flight? I can go. Yeah, Do you have an elevator we can use? Um, I'll put it up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't get excited with the mannequins. <laughs> Don't get excited. They're, they're very they're wearing very little. <laughs> All right. We have a Dunkirk. No, we burn them. And we have multiple zones. Third floor. Second floor. First floor. First floor is circulating second floor is off third floor is off so third floor no resistance second floor no resistance first floor i mean sorry no re resistance resistance no resistance we just turned on the thermostat it was off and it was always the lowest setting Wow. And now it is circulating. Now let's, Chris, I like, we already checked the third floor, which is where we're at. The elevator, compliments of the elevator. <laughs> let's check the second floor, make sure that's off as well. Yeah, that's off. All right, and so just... then I want you to go back to the first floor, turn the thermostat all the way to the lowest setting, and then wait like 10 seconds and turn it all the way back up. Okay, so when you do that, I'm gonna see if the resistance comes back. Second to off, first to... Yeah, second, make sure the second floor is off. And then let's go to the first floor and just lower that all the way down. You know, for like 10 seconds, sure. I'm gonna make sure the zone valve uh, closes and then we're gonna turn it back on. So before you call for service, do yourself a favor, make sure your thermostat is in the on position, thermostat temperature is set up high and if it runs on batteries, check the batteries. Easy peasy. Okay, so he just turned off the thermostat and now we have resistance. He's gonna wait 10 seconds we're gonna hear the thermostat energize back up. We hold the thermostat relay inside the boiler. Click again. All right, here it comes. Here comes no resistance. See that? And wait for it. End switch gets activated like that. The boiler clicks on. All right, if we look inside here, right there. See if I can get you in there. Right there. Dead center of the screen, there's a little lever right there. I'm gonna show you what happens when we turn the power off to that lever by turning the power to the boiler. Watch this. See, it opens. All right, and when I turn power back onto the boiler, 24 volt current closes the circuit, powers the motor, and pushes in the end switch, which is right there. Now, it's a little bit of the click, click, click. I bet you the zone valve is going bad. All right, so let's try that again. That click, click, click could be a problem. All right, a good technician is observing his, his surroundings. We also have another observation here. I have a puddle of water forming on the floor going into the floor drain. 
which is coming from the relief valve. Let's make sure it's the right size. Yes, it is, 30 PSI. See how it did that? All right. To show that's not normal, thermostat here, crank it all the way up. And let's see if the other, therm other zone valve does the same thing. The water on the floor? Yeah. yeah, so the water on the floor is coming from the relief valve and that's because the expansion tank is, is full. We need to replace the expansion tank for you. What? Yeah, wait for this. The expansion tank? Yes. No, there's no way that you just replaced this. Yeah. What is it? Because the date on it is, the date, it, date on it is, looks like 01, 02, 06, or 08. Uh, 08, that's... That's in in, in six. So let's look at the date on the boiler. And the guy, you know, he did that back about two years ago, two or three years ago. Yeah, because the boiler's from 11, 2005. And yeah, and this is this is dated 08. And this expansion tank is is not new, trust me. Not new. Or, he, or he, maybe he gave you an old, an old tank. Who knows? That's possible. When you don't know your thing, you know, people can do you. All right, so you have... We have temperature on the boil, that's why. All right. Let's see. Both motors opened. But you know, you were the ones that came here the first time we had a problem. Oh, that's we were here before? To call you, yeah. Oh, you okay. still had your card. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, she said this is brand new, right? But it's as full as can be. It's full. Uh, all right now i'm gonna put an extra number 30 in it's not gonna be in the orientation i prefer but we're gonna extend this nipple and replace this 90 with another 90 and it's gonna go in the vertical orientation same way that one was but it is what it is okay expansion tech We can stop draining. Put the new actual number 30 there. And then we're going to change out first floor zone valve. The tick, 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 tick that it makes every couple times the zone energizes. Not normal. And again, and I told her, the only thing I did was turn the thermostat up. That was off. You saw it on video. Okay. Chris, do the honors. Oh, messed it up. Oh. Wrong way. Oh, man. Are you stupid or something? Now you act like a, you're doing like a retard now. What are you doing? Get off my head. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. No, 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 no. Don't be retarded, please. Please don't what? be retarded. I've shown you many times how to do this. Hold this. Okay. Watch and learn. It's like now I can't tell. You, know, you can tell real quick if someone's gonna be in it or not. By a few days, I'm like, oh yeah, he's good, but I don't know right now. All right, yeah. Oh man. Professional. Just tape debris on the floor. I know. Yachad. Chris, you yachad. Yeah, sometimes. The San Victoria link. Okay. We'll do. Let's see what she says. Oh, that's not Christian. That's not my Christian I know. Gotcha. Um, sorry I'm not a professional with uh I don't know, ten I, I show you how to use it. Alright. How many times have you done it already? Several well, times? Several, yeah. So what, what was that for? It was well did it seem did something seem a little off? Nope. So there you go. Yeah. Can't fix stupid. Yeah. Okay, next zone valve. 
that zone valve right there. Let me have Phillips screwdriver. Thank you very much. Since all of the wiring feeds into this 1900 box with the transformer, all right? We're gonna make it nice and pretty. Well, at least as pretty as you could possibly make it. Oh, ring alert, the Valley Stream. You'll be killing each other. Okay. All right, let's clean up as much as we can. You gonna need four? I'm gonna need four two wire wagos, correct. That's a line voltage. The, uh, the truck in that box, correct? What? The truck in the box. The yeah, see, oh, see. tape right here okay the two yellow wires is power going to the motor and the two red wires are the end switch the end switch was that little button right in there right a little button when that gets pushed in end switch is closed turns on boiler so we're gonna clean this up a little bit two yellows two reds all the reds go together, as you can see here. All right, so there's all my reds. I have a yellow, another yellow, and reds, and then this thing. We're gonna take this off with a flat screwdriver. Take out that screw and that screw. Okay. That will pop right off, just like that. Now we put the new head on. All right, new zone valve is in. And I reused the BX that was there. I cut off the little black piece. Do that little black piece. You know that little black piece? So I could just clean this up a little bit better inside. So there's yellow wire. Here's yellow wire. Here's red. And here's red. Chris, pay attention now. The red wires are end switch. The yellow wires power 24 volts, which power the motor. Okay? The reds are all gonna go together. There's a bunch of reds here. And the yellows get replaced. Get replaced? Yeah, you're gonna see. You ready? Okay. You ready? All right, we're not gonna feed the people. Should we feed them? You're feeding them right now. I know, but here, then hold this. Get the wire stripper. Opposite side and the, and the uh, needle nose. Might as well get the clear case too. It's got probably the the, the uh, multi conductor connectors in there. The way goes. Which ones? Well, we'll see what you need here. Hopefully the battery isn't. Okay. Now, here was one red wire, right? Okay. That went to the original zone valve. See a bunch of them all together right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, followed by to one. If we follow this wire here, it goes all the way to the boiler. Mm -hmm. TT, it turns on the boiler. So, we could be lazy about it, we could do it the right way, but I have a total of one, two, three, four wires here, right? We have a four wire conductor in that uh, case. We don't have a four conductor way go. We only have twos and threes. There's one red wire, right? Here's the other red wire. Which one's there? And you're not really supposed to reuse wire nuts, but we're gonna reuse them anyway. This one comes off there. We have Hopefully. wire nuts if you want. Oh yeah, so we'll, yeah. Get, so we'll get one. Next time I use the, those needle nose, I expect them to be lubricated. Okay. Okay, thank you. Here's the red. Which is gonna go right there. Okay, where do the red wires go? To red. And where do they end up? Where's the end, end destination of the red wire? To the, I guess the switch, the valve. The boiler. TT oh. on the boiler. Oh. Right okay. now, here's one yellow wire, 
right? One yellow wire is transformer, and another yellow wire is thermostat. Make sense? No, I don't expect you to get it right away. But let's get a two conductor wiggle. And we're gonna take one of these yellow wires. It doesn't matter, both the same. And here's the other. Now, the other yellow wire, all right, right here. Now, if you see a bunch of wires together in something, right, like this one, I, I can almost guarantee is going to the trans, uh, thermostat. But this is going to transformer. And as you can see, I'm pulling on the red wire, mm -hmm. 24 volts, all right? So to show you how useful these Wagos are, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this. Let's do that. Two conductor logo. That's it. Hold on. Now, we push all these wires back in here. What's great about the Wagos, you don't have to worry about the connection, the connection getting loose, unlike these wire nuts. All right, so before we're done with this job, we have to make sure the two other zones Activate the the boiler. Make sense? You can have a loose connection. We were the last ones here. So now that's back secure. We're gonna disengage. What the hell is up with this zone valve? Damn residio. All right, let's feed the boiler. Let's close the drain. That's closed. Relief valve's open. It's gonna open this up. It's gonna fill the boiler back up because we drained it. And as soon as this water starts pouring out of this thing, because the I know the automatic air vent here isn't working. All right, that ain't doing diddly. As soon as I see that relief valve drip some water, we will stop. <clears throat> Take forever. Yeah. It's a baby boiler too. So look how much look how much coffee's in this relief valve. I'm sure quite a lot. Look at it. It's caked in there, but the seat. The seats look at that right there. A little damage there. A soda. So this is female uh, male, that's female. Make sense? Yeah. Good. Alright. The relief valve is in. Coupling extended to the floor. Now, let's turn on. I don't like this one. Good. Make sure we have circulation. Test the other zones. And then we are good to go. Chris, the thermostat here, let's raise that up. Thermostat second floor, raise it up. Not loving the stupid residual. Because the 
I'm testing all the zones. I'm making because we're done. I have to make sure everything works. Yeah. And the second floor is like making up, making like it's it's weird. It's like it's staying open when it shouldn't. Something like that. I, personally, I personally I would change that zone valve too, but I, that's up to you. What does he keep the thermostat at? Because if it, if it's too hot and the thermostat's low, that's 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 a. That's, 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 Okay. Yeah. And when it really gets, you know, the place gets warmer, then it will turn it over. You know, like the second floor is really because I got to put it on the downstairs. Really hot down there because you got it off. Yeah. So. Okay. Because personally, I would change the second floor's uh, valve. Uh, All right. Third floor. Sorry, first floor. 180 degrees, and coming back, 160. There's the other zone, and this one. As returns, they're cold, as you can see. And let's go check the baseboard on the first floor. The first thing you're gonna see is the baseboard here on the floor. And convector is closed. Let's just see here. All right, 119. Climbing. Good. We got heat. Let's see anything in the kitchen. Bathroom, maybe. Good. All right. We're circulating. Well, we got it done. We got it done. Ain't that right, Air Force Nun? Yeah. How many trips you make up and down those stairs? You got mm -hmm. a lot of cardio done today, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot of cardio. She says she's putting the elevator in tomorrow, but for some reason, I think she's fibbing. I think she's fibbing! Yeah. She's a fibber. She's a fibber. But we've completed a successful service call. And yet again, oh, fudge. You know what I didn't do? Combustion test. It is now your job. I'm adding this to your job requirement. You need to make sure that we put valve tags on every boiler and we do a combustion test. Okay? All right, that's your job. For every time you don't do your job, you're gonna get reprimanded, okay? Mm -hmm. And the first thing that you're gonna make sure you do that's done tomorrow is that the needle nose pliers it's are already, oiled. It's already done. Ooh, it's already done, look at that. Cause I know you're like a very military guy. You, you like taking orders and doing orders, but nothing less, nothing more. Ain't that right? 50-50? If they give you an order, sir, yes, sir! No? No! Uh, I only get paid minimum wage, so. You don't get paid minimum wage, you get paid more than minimum wage. Uh, minimum wage of, of $15 an hour only applies to companies with 40 or more employees. I don't think that's true. You wanna bet? What do you wanna bet? In New York? Yes, what do you wanna bet? Deep? Uh, wanna bet that $10 know. tip? Or, you made $30 today. What do you mean, no, no. The $10 from the guy. Oh, yeah. Right. And $20 from the other guy. Well, that was from you, technically, I guess. You know, you owed me $21. Yeah, we're even. <laughs> we're even. No, you sold me a dollar. If you're even, listen, you don't pay yourself. You're not going to get in with the merchant cash advances. <laughs> I'm do. Oh! oh, oh. It's like you pull the rug from out under him. All right, guys. Make sure you check out Mikey Pipes on Reddit. I think I just started a subreddit yesterday, and I think now you can actually post to the Mikey Pipe subreddit group. Check us out on WhatsApp. I'm also on, tel not Telegram. No, we're on Telegram, it's on advertising. Discord, buy me a coffee, go fund me, give, let go, all these other good stuff. Help me fight Navian, these mother effers, these South Korean mother effers. Help me defeat them so they stop selling junk in America. And globally, imagine, imagine the power 
of social media where we could take down a multi-billion dollar corporation that peddles throwaway garbage systems that people think are based on their own false advertising, reliable and dependable. Nothing reliable and dependable for you to throw it out after five or seven years. And I got hundreds of people, hundreds of people that feel the same way because they've had to take their name in off the wall and throw it in the garbage. All right, guys, be well. God bless. Stay safe. Catch you in the next one.